for many men, a career path involves a steady climb up the corporate ladder with a network of friends and contacts to help things along. Women, on the other hand, are pretty much on their own. But that didn't deter creative solutions strategist and entrepreneur Amira Faber from launching her first venture when she was just 21. A typical morning sees Amira Faber up and about in time to see the sunrise. This isn't because she's in a rush to catch up with a hectic schedule, but rather an example of conscious living and self-discipline, giving herself time to approach every day in a mindful way. Amira invited Karusha to meet her at the studio in Randberg. We may often wonder how people who face all of life's challenges still manage to be happy and live their best life. In truth, we are all capable of self-mastery and living the life that we want. A shining example of this is Amira Faber, who is a mom, entrepreneur and all-round powerhouse. I'm spending time with her today and I cannot wait to see how she does it all. Morning fitness to a whole new level. I do. Why is pole fitness your go-to workout? I enjoy challenges. I did a yoga teacher training, did some obstacle course races, and then I found the pole, and it's really hard. Is this normally how you start your mornings? It is, when I come to the office. I'm part of the 5 a.m. club, but being a mom, I wake up at four o'clock in the morning. Have some hot water with lemon, do some exercise with my son, and then some priming, some meditation, breakfast with the kids, and when I get to the office, then I start with the poll. What is the nature of your work? We make two TV shows. The one is called Teenagers on a Mission. It broadcasts on SABC One. And the whole point of the show is that we go around the country finding amazing, inspiring projects by teenagers and by scientists and engineers, people who are really changing the world. And we share that with the rest of the country. And another show that we do is called Ones and Twos. It's for music producers and DJs in our country. And we search for I'm a piano, house music, hip hop, and it's for people out there who are making music. And we find them from all around the country, bring them to our TV show, and make them famous. So Karusha, I've got a few things to do around the office today. I will see you in a bit. Amira believes that while education is process-driven, learning is instinctive. By combining education with entertainment and tapping into the natural curiosity of her viewers, she captures their interest and imagination. Hey, busy morning. Hey, Karusha, yes, busy but productive. What are some of the challenges that you've faced over the years? Having your own business is in itself a challenge. If you make great content, it will sell. At the same time, it's still a business, so cash flow is an issue. Working in TV, it's seasonal. You have 13 episodes, and it's not a nine to five job. So when you get into this industry, you've got to know that you're living this industry. And then being a mom, being a girlfriend, being a wife, having a family is something that I think I think everyone's got to figure out. I know that you're making a very special documentary about your son. Would you mind telling me a little bit about it? My son is homeschooled and the reason I made this documentary is because I get questions from all sorts of people everywhere wanting to know why, wanting to know how, very curious about it. And I thought why not share our journey with people and also share how we've done it because it's actually a lot easier than I think a lot of people would think. My son is at home now. Would you like to come and meet him and check it out? Cool, that's fantastic. In designing the best day of my life, every day of my life, a lot of components came into it. It would be time in nature, it would be spirituality, it would be waking up and being in an environment that is fulfilling and enriching, surrounding myself with my own choices, what I want to do and how I want to do it. And then I thought, why not teach that to my kids? Nice to meet you. I'm going to go find your brother. <laughs> so sweet. So Karusha, this is Zaren's classroom. Hi. Hello. Hi. Megan is Zaren's tutor. She goes through his subjects with him here. So tell me about the decision to homeschool. Designing a homeschool experience was a discussion with my son. I know the kids have got to go to school, I think it's something like 7.30 till 3 o'clock. They work all day, they wear uniforms, they carry big bags, they have old school textbooks, come home. What did you do today? 
I don't know. Why shouldn't they have the best day of their lives, every day of their lives, and what would that be? So we chose a curriculum. He does three hours of schoolwork a day now. He should be in grade four, but he's doing grade seven subjects and he's doing grade 11 subjects and he's 11 years old. And what is your advice for anyone that might be watching and thinking that homeschooling is an option for them? In our country, we actually have a very large homeschooling community. We stay in Johannesburg. In Randburg alone, there are 2,000 homeschooling families. Darren goes to lots of different teachers and different people within his community and is a part of different groups, his Kung Fu group, his art group, his drama group. It's almost like the village is raising the child. And you'll see it really brings the community together. So let's leave them to it so they can concentrate and let's have a cup of tea. Bye. Bye. This looks beautiful, thank you for this. Health is our highest value, really. So to have the best experience of life, we have our own chickens and they give us our own eggs and they're great. So we know what we feed them is rich, pure food and not anything that has hormones or antibiotics or pesticides. And we make everything ourselves, even mayonnaise. And you can definitely do it all. Thank you so much for spending time with me today and allowing me a little insight into your life. I've really enjoyed it. And thank you, Karusha. Spending time with Amira today has really schooled me about how to live my best life every day. And I'm definitely going to be putting these lessons to good use.